Hey, what's going on? What's up, Ken folk? Man, man, man. Shout out to my sponsor, Stitch Lip Certified, Richmond, California. Mm -mm. Boy, oh boy. There's a lot going on right now. I don't know what to say. Let's see what y'all got to say. It's late. Trending topic emanating from the Oscars. A lot of y'all saying it was fake. That shit wasn't fake. Y'all know that wasn't fake. That uh, that slap is the uh, accumulation of a lot of uh, things building up on Will Smith. It's a big nigga to be getting hit by too. That's a big nigga to be getting slapped by. That's a big dude. Will Smith is like 6'2", I believe, maybe 6'3". Well over 200 pounds. Well over 200 pounds. Y'all see how big that nigga get? That nigga was fighting George Foreman. That nigga was fighting George Foreman, man. He said, Brooklyn hold his L. Y'all can't get an L to the whole borough. That's the same nigga that played Muhammad Ali, man. You got to respect his dribble, yo. Let's see who all in here. He said, peace, peace, homie, how you doing? Yeah, man, I'm gonna roll up with y'all and kick it about this for a minute. Nobody's seen this coming. And apparently, he still has strong feelings for his wife. Uh, August Alcina, Alcina, he could have got that. Um, a lot of Tupac jokes, a lot of ridicule. Shit been building up. Fucked around and slapped to a motherfucker. This how you know that that shit was real. Because it's, because it costs money. It costs money. Soon as he slapped him, soon as he put his hands on that nigga face, man, that became a new bill. Expensive bill too. I know he probably got somebody on the phone with Chris Rock right now. Chris, man, just tell us how we can make this go away. Cause um. That assault on camera, that's retirement money. He said, it's been two years of frustration. Yeah, he been going through a lot, yo. Been going through a lot. Niggas making jokes at the wrong time. I didn't get what, what Chris Rock said that got, that got him so upset, though. I didn't. Why did he get upset like that? He said, Keep my wife's name out your mouth. I can't believe Will smacked Chris like that, man. He smacked the shit out of him. That was a nigga smack. That was a Negro joint. That's called the Philadelphia Big Hand. He said, Will is simp. He picked today to be a nigga. Man, I seen that slap before. That's called a Philadelphia Big Hand. Most of them got, most of them know how to do it. <laughs> He got in one little fight and the Oscars got scared. He said it was fake. Nah, man. Why would he why would he fake fake smack Chris Rock? Somebody tell me this. He said that walk off was so smooth. Hell yeah. Would you have done the same thing? I didn't I didn't see what he what what, what made him so upset. I don't see I didn't see what made him so upset. I know he has been taking a lot of public abuse. Jada has alopecia. Chris Rock called her G.I. Jane. Oh, she real she really got an ailment. She really got an ailment. Let me see. August ain't warned that. Smack why? Cause Jada brought the entanglement to the forefront. You seen the Sue Surf brawl? No, man. All you niggas acting up tonight. So Will wants Rock to keep his wife name out of her mouth, but can't keep August out of Jada's mouth. I knew that was coming. The Ali came out. Yeah, that's the same nigga that was fighting George Foreman. He was fighting George Foreman. He also was fighting James Tony, who played uh James Tony played Joe Frazier. Yeah, that's the Philadelphia big hand.
a lot of the other damn going a little fast a lot of others joker said why way worse about jada why will and carry it the same he should have smacked eminem some years ago maybe it's the pressure pressure bust pipes we all know that he said no nah, that was mike larry from bad boys chris should have known you can't talk about black woman's hair so how much y'all think that slap was worth How much y'all think that that smack was worth? Oh shit! Damn. Mm. Will should have smacked Jada. Will probably gonna play roughly five million dollars. Chris is humiliated. He gonna ask for more than five. He said a mill is on a low. I can't believe Will smack Chris Rock on national television. Smack the shit out of him. He said Chris about to get all of his divorce money back. It's definitely going to court. It's definitely going to court, and I don't see a court date. I see it getting settled right away. Right away. Um, Chris Rock ate that joint. <laughs> Chris ate that joint. Chris got a pretty good chin himself. He said, now nah, comedians beefing on TV. Will ain't no comedian. He's a rapper. He a rapper from Philadelphia. What did y'all expect? No, he wasn't going for that shit. He kind of got in position, but realized it was on national TV. I believe, yeah, I believe he settled down after he smacked him and shit. Public humiliation. Um, if it was me, if it was me, if the nigga would have smacked me on TV, I'd fell on the fucking floor. I'd still be there. The paramedics would have had to come get me up. <laughs> Ooh -wee. Five, minute in, five minutes into his ordeal, he would have knew he smacked the wrong nigga. You'd been the first nigga I ever wrote a statement on. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. I'd have been in all kind of pain. My legs don't work. They would have had to go get me a motherfucking wheelchair. Wheelchair. Mm-hmm. He said, I feel you on that. Man, that's a, he put him in a lottery situation. That's a once-in-a-lifetime situation right there. Man, I ain't about to fight this big boxing ass nigga. <laughs> My lawyer on the phone with him right now. He, he still got on his bow tie. Still got on your suit and tie. The, logo, the lawyers are negotiating. David Kenner and them guys. I'd send them at him. <laughs> He said Chris won't sue. Shit. He'd be a fool not to sue. He'd be a fool not to sue. That was fake. It was staged. Yeah, right. He defended Tupac's girl's honor. OG Wiz. That slap was backed up in Will. That slap came from what he wants to do to every nigga that owes me money. <laughs> he said this is hilarious. This shit gonna be talked about for days and days after this. Um,
How do you continue your night after something like that happening? You got to go home. You got to go home. You just got smacked on TV and shit. Damn. Even if you get the settlement, settlement it's still going to be a stigma attached to it because they're going to always play it back. Damn. It did look fake at first. I don't think so. He said, if he steps to Uncle Murder, then I respect it. Will Smith has smacked the shit out of Uncle Murder, too. Uncle Murder's a little nigga. Will Smith, six, Will Smith like 6'3", well over 200 pounds. Didn't y'all just see him playing Serena and Venus Williams' daddy in that movie? With them long-ass tube socks on. <laughs> nigga tall as shit. <laughs> y'all get them jokes and shit fucked up. That nigga from West Philly. He said, it looked stage at first. Will even laughed at the joke at first. That was a coward move. You can't really say that. Um, it's a, he is married to her. He said he hit the mic, not Chris. It was an embarrassment. Yeah, Uncle Murder a little bit too little. He a little too little for Will Smith. It was super embarrassing for Will. It's a time and place for everything. He has a million more people to slap if that was about his wife. You right. You right. All right. I just got done watching the uh, most recent series of um, Winning Time, the Lakers series. Y'all, y'all fucking with that? That shit is the that shit is serious. That shit is serious. One of the best TV shows online. I mean, on, on television right now. I wish he slapped Kevin Hart. Why y'all want so many people slapped? <clears throat> TMZ is gonna say it was fake. They can't say it was fake. We all seen it. That shit all over Instagram. Every Instagram media page you could imagine. She has alopecia and her hair won't grow. She made a video crying about it. The joke wasn't cool. Oh, okay. Uh, Jada Pink had been gorgeous, man, for like 30 years, man, in entertainment. She was, um, she was Ronnie in, in Menace to Society. Um, she's played other roles and shit. She was in Set It Off. She gave us plenty of beauty and shit. It's all good, baby. Everything gonna be all right. She don't deserve to be ridiculed, though. Like, you saw Will Smith's tearful apology. He probably was upset. That probably probably wanted wasn't his style. He probably regretted. It's an expensive smack. It's expensive. Uh, he realizing that Chris got his uh, he got his dick in the vice right now. It was not real. They would not mute it and look at Will Face. He was dead serious. The joke was light. If it was just a joke in, in regards to him being an MC, you can't... Ex <coughs> Kurt Bone just said this the other day when I did an interview with Kurt Bone. You can say what you want, but you can't determine how the other person is going to receive that shit. You feel me? He said, Will didn't check a couple people on camera. He didn't slap OG Nate like that when Jada was in the bind. If he cussed on live TV, it was real. Did he cuss? I couldn't hear the audio. I was just taken aback about, about what happened. Let me get an ashtray.
<coughs> There's footage of Denzel and Tyler Perry com comforting him after that. The slap was real. Who was they comforting? Will Smith or uh, Chris Rock? For every action, there's a reaction. That smack is gonna cost him 10 milli. Minimum, minimum. Uh, good morning, everybody. West Coast, good night. Uh, the Oxers, the, I said the Oxfords. The Ox, the Oscars have been eventful this year. Don't nobody pay no attention to that shit. If that boy didn't get slapped, y'all wouldn't even know that shit was on. <laughs> we don't even care about the Oscars and shit, but we care about what go on with Will Smith. I don't know how many people here for uh, for Chris Rock, but he said Chris ain't going to sue him. Shit. 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 He smacked the mic. It looked hard and sounded hard. The Oscars would not let that happen. Where was security? Publicity stunt. Why would he smack him for a publicity stunt? They security ain't big as Will. Will Smith is a big nigga. Didn't y'all see him walking away? He played Muhammad Ali. He not going to sue and ruin his name in Hollywood. How would that ruin his name? He's, he he get ruined by being slapped on television. Don't you think that's damaging to his uh to his brand? No, not a comedian. Watch the interview you did with OG from Gangster Chronicles. It was pretty dope. Thank you. Everyone knows everything about the Oscars and knows everything is staged. Mm-hmm. 100% staged. Uh, Super Chatter, I didn't catch your name at the beginning. I apologize. The Guardian News have audio with Will Smith cursing. Will laughed at the joke, though. He says, straight off 52nd Street, we do that, don't sleep. <laughs> they trying to get views like the NFL halftime show. Not a chance. Can't, can't even compete, especially not this year. They had Dr. Dre and all of them on there. My man said, wake up, black people. Will Smith smack MC Gusto. Chris has to sue or he would take two L's. It's funny though, 100% fake. Ox, uh, the, the Oscars have been struggling for a while. What makes y'all think that they would say, we gonna select you two niggas to do this? Why would, why would they do this for no reason? Why? So they, um, they told Chris Rock to ridicule Jada Pinkett. Is that what, is that what y'all implying? The same people who says it was fake, the, the ones that say the coronavirus ain't real. I bet he wouldn't have done it to Pac. I thought about Pac. Protecting a wife who's been disrespecting you for a while now, Will lost his damn mind. <laughs> he said they Oscars, they actors. Too many people, too many eyes, too many cameras, too many people who are going to repeat that and play that footage over and over and over for them to be able to pull off a fake, a stunt in front of the world. Is y'all crazy? Is y'all the fuck crazy? So they, 
They executed a perfect stunt on television. One take. Black men need to uplift each other in front of them folks. They already look at us like a zoo. There has to be a backstory to that pimp slap. Devin said, I need to see it in slow motion. What you need to see it in slow motion for? Do you know how many memes are out already? Before I got on here, it was, e it was easy. The hashtag was generating about 500 memes, 500 posts as far as memes already. Within an hour. It ain't even been an hour. The memes are going to be on fire with this one. They already gone. They already up. It's up already. Jada has alopecia and Chris knew that. Just fishy. The crowd didn't gasp. No gasp sound or nothing. Just laughs. I thought that there was a pause. I thought... I thought it was a, a loud quiet for a minute. <coughs> it was 100% fake. Will picks his battles. He, 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 he definitely got other people to check if he going out. If he going around wrecking now, if he's had it up to here... He got some more smacking to do. Jada embarrassed Will so much he can't even slap a nigga for real. Everybody more mad at Jada than Will. Why would anybody be mad at Will? DL wouldn't fight back either. Loud quiet. You never heard that? You never heard that? You never heard a loud quiet? A loud quiet is fright is frightening. A loud quiet is when something happens, right? And there's a, a brief pause where it's very quiet. But that moment is powerful and it's loud. It's loud. It's 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 bone chilling. It's really, it's really, really short. And it's like Damn, did you did you feel that? That's a loud quiet and shit. He said it's loud silence. Exactly. He said, yeah, I just watched it. It was real. Will loves his wife. That's why he did it. Will finally had enough, but it's their own fault. They put their business in the street. The crowd didn't know if it was real or fake. They paused and laughed, even though they thought it was an act. They didn't know what the fuck to think. If that shit happened, and if we was in that room and that happened, and he smacked him, everybody gonna say, look at each other like, did he just slap the shit out of him? That's the loud quiet. Look at it, slow motion, it was an act. Man... I can't do this with y'all, man. I can't do this. I can't do this. The room is divided. That's cool. But nah. Nah. Not for no reason. He said Kanye about to smack someone. Will got emotional as fuck. Cats act like they were never jumped out a window for a woman. Here come the conspiracy theorists. Corey said he went out like a true simp. Will walked back to the chair, started yelling at Chris, talking about keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. That was a no holes bar moment. I don't know why y'all feel it was staged. I don't. I don't. On the street, Will would have got put down. Nobody she slept with got slapped.
That slap wasn't about what she did in private. It was about what he did in public. Everybody has a breaking point. Chris took it like a champ. Yeah, he held his composure. I believe after he got off the stage and his, he started processing what the fuck happened, he said, I'm suing that motherfucker. I know he's saying he. I know he's suing him. Well, if there's no lawsuit, then y'all, then it might be, it might be uh, staged. We are gonna see what happened the next week. That was real. Even the host and commentaries are saying it was real. You know it's staged because the joke wasn't even disrespectful. Maybe it was disrespectful to Will. West Philly in the building. Chris has some comedy content now. Yeah, yeah, he can. Uh, he gonna go on tour about that. He'll be able to re replay that for a minute. They both happy. It was those two. They both safe. Imagine if it was Will slapping Mike Epps. DL, if he would have smacked, if he would have smacked Epps, them niggas have been fighting on stage. I don't got Mike Epps. Uh, I don't got my. He pretty tall too. I don't got him taking that like that. I think he would have scrapped for his. <laughs> Watch it back. He thought it was a funny joke. He wouldn't have got that close to Mike. Will had good form with the wind up. He said, yeah, Mike scrapping for his. <laughs> Matt Miller was good. <coughs> Will had the JBM behind him back in the day. Read his book. It's not hard to believe. You know who his peers was? He the only one that didn't go to jail. Everybody that he was around, everybody else from West Philly that was on the scene at the time, ended up going bad, ended up getting in trouble and shit like that, or having a... He the only one still standing. Steady being cool. See, they was his peers. They was out at the time rest, uh, repping West Philadelphia. Steady being cool. See? One on death row, other one doing natural life. I don't know where, at what point, um, Will Smith became like a, uh, a joke and shit like that. He was always thorough uh, in our eyes and shit, niggas that grew up in that generation. Will Smith uh, sung the brand new funk. He sung Summertime. He sung uh, Girls Ain't Nothing But Trouble. He sung Parents Parents Just Don't Understand. Will Smith got relevant hip-hop, legendary tracks and shit. You just got to know. His name ain't Will Smith. That's his acting name. That's his government name, I guess. His name is Fresh Prince, the Fresh Prince. That's his name. DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. Them niggas is official hip-hop. He said, Will is a fucking goat. Facts. He said, social media memes messed him up. Nah. That song, Getting Jiggy With It, fucked him up. <laughs> he, that song, Getting Jiggy With It, fucked him up. I don't know how much he made off of that shit. I don't know what happened with it. I don't know if it was a, a pop hit. I just know when I seen the video, I was like, huh? <laughs> <coughs> No, 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 no. He was tripping. <laughs> yeah. He said, welcome to Miami. Yeah, them cut those was all in the same year. Like 98, them shits was out. 97. <laughs> them shits <was> terrible. <laughs> he said, nah, it's real getting jiggy with it. <laughs> he didn't perform.
perform it. When them niggas be writing raps for somebody, they write raps for the person that'll fit him. Like, this is some shit that he'll say. So if it came out like that, <laughs> that's what Nas thought fit his image, you know, for the Fresh Prince or whatever. He said that Wild Wild West joint was wild too. I think that was a movie joint. All rappers that wasn't hardcore got that label. De La Soul, Play From Kid and Play and so on. De La Soul was popping. And Kid and Play was popping like a motherfucker. People don't talk about that. But I listened to one of them songs not long ago, about five, six months ago. I listened to kid, some Kid and Play songs. Them niggas had some bangers, man. Getting Funky was that shit. Um, yeah. Doom, doom, doom. Doom, doom. That was that shit. Um, what was that other one? That, 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 that. Ola, Ola was his shit. A radio joint. They had joints. Kid and Play had joints. I'm keeping it real. Kid and Play was a big deal for like a year. He said the class act soundtrack. Three Feet High and Rising. I didn't like the Men in Black record either by Will because I love the original version with Patrice Rush so much better. Ain't gonna hurt nobody. I see you hooking up with us. That was that was my second time interviewing him. You gotta go uh, go go look back through the channel. Silence was deafening. Will Smith did sound like he trying to rap like Jay-Z on that jiggy joint. I didn't like that. Was he wrong for slapping him? He felt this, the joke. The joke was uh, in bad taste. If he feel like that, that's his wife. Hey. He said hot for a year. When I meant by hot for a year, I'm talking about a relevant component part of hip hop. Before they went on to doing them comedy movies and shit. Um, the fuck? The fuck was they movies? House party. Before they got to doing them house party movies and shit like that. They, they music. You was going to hear it in the hood. You was going to hear it in the streets and the barbershops like you was going to hear it. They dance killed it when they was hitting their feet together. They had the whole world doing that shit. They had the whole world doing that kick, that kick step. They had the whole world doing that joint where you jump over your leg. They was the shit, man. They was the shit, y'all. And my man had the high top fade and shit. Like, they was the shit. They was popping. He said, still to this day. Yeah. Kid and play were dope. Music was different then and shit. Will looking weak out here. Can't take a joke, but took your wife saying she slept with August. Just sad. Kid really freestyled for real, for real, house party battle. It was dope at the time. That shit's still dope. Ain't they from Flatbush? I don't know where Kid and Play is from. Play used to pull up in the hood in the red Jeep. You think Chris Rock will sue for sure? He'd be a fool not to. Just slapping a motherfucker on TV. <laughs> oh, shit. Queens. I thought they were from Queens. I saw them perform at Lincoln University in 1990. I know that was the shit.
Didn't they have that joint called Come On? Mm, come on, come on, baby. Come on, come on, baby. What's the name of that joint? When they got the, uh, the fucking, they got the leather, the leather sweatshirts on to say too hype on them. I knew you go live, smack heard around the world. Y'all gonna have me listen to the kid and play when I get up off here. It's crazy. Getting funky. Yeah, it's that shit. See what y'all done did? Y'all got me going to listen to Kid and Play when I get up off of here. He said, remember the cartoon? Chris Rock still fighting the whole back in tears from getting the soul slapped out of him. Yeah, he got emasculated on TV. This is going to be a trending topic for about three days. Easy. They're going to be talking about this on um, ESPN. Skipping uh, Shay Shay will be talking about this. Everybody. Breakfast Club. Three days, easy, to something else happen. He said, bring back Willie the Kid for a follow-up. Shout out to Will. Will got his own um, his own champagne and wines and shit out. Got his own liquor out. He said he, he slapped the sonic rings out of him. Will trying to gain some stripes because he was looking weak. Someone said it was staged. We going to find out tomorrow, man. I'm about to get up out of here. Well, I said tomorrow. Today is tomorrow. It's the morning. Uh, happy Monday to everybody that's here, man. Make sure y'all get y'all dribble right. Go to my website, www.therealdribble.com. He said, you know how many videos are already up? I know. I had to just get mine out here, man. Get mine in the algorithm. Get y'all my, uh, my take on it. And when I get up off of here, I'm listening to Kid and Play getting funky.